Well, hello there, Pisces. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, we are going to be doing your mid-April tarot reading. So this is good for the next four to five weeks. So from now until about mid-May, we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And this reading is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if the message doesn't resonate here for you, you may want to check out one of your other signs to see if there's a message there. All right, let's get into it. Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. And mystic healer energy, healing energy flows through you. Beautiful energy. I think you're seeing the bigger picture of something that has occurred in your life or something that you're going through at this time. Almost like understanding that things had to play out the way that they did in order for you know certain other things to come onto your path you know or for you to gain insight or wisdom about certain things yeah wow beautiful energy okay so whatever this is conclusions are within reach so understanding that you're you're very close to the end of something that may have been difficult you know and with the healer energy it could be a relationship it could be a career, it could be a job, a financial situation. It could even be something to do with your own health, right? Or the health of a loved one. Um, understanding that all of this has happened for a specific reason. Yeah, and you have wonderful energy coming in. And so you have planning and action on the bottom. Also an energy of, you know... Uh, seeing the big picture and not getting too bogged down in the details when you're planning. You know, it's kind of like um, a little bit of an energy of <laughs> keep, the, keep the end in mind, right? Um, not getting too caught up in what is going on at this moment because I feel like, you know, things could be a little bit difficult at this time and if they are it's kind of like okay let's not get bogged down with what's going on now let's take a look at where it is that we want to go as um you know time continues where what is the goal what is the end goal yeah lovely energy okay seven of pentacles knight of wands <laughs> emperor energy beautiful energy reassessing Okay, the seven of pentacles is about reassessing. You put a lot of time and energy into something. So it's about, okay, reassessing. Where am I putting my time? Where am I putting my energy, my resources, my love? And what am I getting back out of it? And then uh, perhaps asking yourself, can I reassess where I'm putting my time, energy, love, and resources? You know, so if you're putting your... If you have a lot of things going on at this time, you could be focusing a little bit on the wrong thing, okay? Or putting too much time or energy into the wrong thing. It's about understanding, okay, I need to pull back some of my energy. Say you have, you know, say you have, um, you know, you're, you're having uh, some plumbing redone in your house. <laughs> You're having some plumbing redone in your house. You have a big project at work and, you know, you have a family member that has been sick and needs your attention, right? And what you're re recognizing is that you're spread too thin. You could be spread too thin or you're spending too much time with the sick fam family member, too much time with the plumber or, or something like that. It's kind of like, okay, are you putting your time and energy in are are your priorities set <laughs> you know are are you putting your time and energy in the top priority it's time to make a shift it's time to take action because there is lots of power you have more power in the situation than i think you think i think you feel as if you are perhaps powerless um, but you're not. It's about just reassessing where your time and energy are going. Um, and then you will regain your power. I feel like you're just kind of like a little bit kind of scattered, you know. Yeah, here's your end result. This is what you need to be focusing on. What does your heart want? And having faith that it will occur. You know, knowing that you are going to have the outcome that you are seeking. Keeping your eye on that big picture and just kind of like 
keeping your, your sights in the future instead of getting bogged down with whatever is going on at this time. And I send you lots of love and hugs because there is this energy of just feeling scattered, like things aren't working out in your favor. Um, okay, hold your vision once again. <laughs> hold your vision of what it is that you want in the future, knowing that it is going to come in for you, okay? It's just that you're completely distracted and then you have status quo. I think you feel like... Uh, the situation that you're going through right now is becoming the status quo. You're you're having a trouble standing into your power, being confident that you can bring in what it is that you really and truly want. But look at we have the emperor and the empress, right? So if this is a relationship or a business situation, business partnership, understanding that staying confident, okay, at this time and staying really focused on <laughs> the end product will bring you exactly what it is that you are wanting. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I think, you know, look at this. I think you're wanting to walk away. It's been a long time, Pisces. Yeah, I'm really sending you much love and hugs because your confidence is waning. It's taking so long. It's just like one obstacle after another. And you're really trying to get to that 10 of cups. You really and truly, you know, I feel like you're, you're focusing on it, but you're only at eight and you're like, how am I ever going to get to 10? Every time I turn around, there's another obstacle. There's another snafu, you know, first the plumbing went, <laughs> you know, and I was dealing with that. And then, you know, um, somebody at work quit and now I'm having to do their job and mine. And then, you know, my mom got sick and it's almost as if you can't, you, you feel like you can't get into the boat and make any progress. It's almost like, you know, the current you're, you're in the boat, you're rowing as fast as you can, but the current is so strong. It just keeps pushing you back. So let's see what your obstacle or area resistance is back and forth. Yeah, I think you're going back and forth, you know, um, between projects or just uh, uh, trying to figure out what your priority is. One day you may wake up and you say plumbing is my top priority. Once I get that done, then I'll have more time and energy for the others. Right. And then midday, you may change your mind. Oh, wait a minute. Mom needs me. I better go over there. And you drop the plumbing. You know, it's kind of, I feel like there is this sense of what can you get done? Focus on that, get it done. So it's almost like off your list and out of the way so that you can focus your time and attention on these other things. Um, and having patience with yourself, allowing things that need to leave to leave. You know, this is about having more moderation, you know. Are, are you getting your sleep? Are you eating properly? Are you drinking your water? Are you taking some time for yourself? You know, really understanding that that could be weighing on a little bit on your energy too. Um, and then for your advice from spirit, you have, yeah, stay focused on what it is that the outcome is, right? Staying focused on the long term, not worrying too much about what is going on right now, but being grateful for everything that is on your path, kind of staying in that really positive energy and looking forward to having the success in the situation that you're looking for will help you to also move forward more quickly and a fiery climax approaches. Yeah, I feel like this situation, you know, the conclusions are within reach. I feel like the the situation is <laughs> close to, is close um is very close to ending for you. So um um I, I do. I wish you much love and light with that because, you know, sometimes just having something over with, you know, the plumbing situation is done. Okay, good. Done. Now I can focus on some other things. Yeah. You're manifesting. Look at this. Whatever. Yeah. What You are healing from whatever disappointments you have had in this situation or in the past. Because look at this. You're manifesting. Okay. Your Ten of Cups, your Page of Cups, or your Ace of Cups, you know, what you are really and truly wanting, you are manifesting it. You know, this is the climax. This is what you have been hoping for. It is right around the corner. It's just keeping your eye on the prize. <laughs> That's what they're saying. It's kind of like, I feel like you can kind of see the finish line, right? But you're not sure. Is the finish line going to move? The closer I get to it, is the finish line going to move? 
It's like, just keep your eyes on the, the finish line. Don't allow your mind to start playing games with you. You know, know that the end is close. The success is near. All right, uh, let's pull a soul truth card for you. And Pisces, I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Am I apologizing for my truth? Hmm. What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, be proud of your truth. And I love that. That's that emperor energy, right? Standing in your power, knowing that what it is that you want is to, about to be yours, right? But also knowing that that's your truth. That's who you are. That is what you want and standing up for it. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold parts of it. You never know whose life you will change. When you are brave enough to speak it, be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give others permission to speak their own truth. There is room for all of us. Yeah, I absolutely love that. Um, just recognizing, right, that you have a Ten of Cups twice here, you know, whatever your truth is about what your heart truly desires, it's time to stand in that truth and recognize, okay, this is what I'm manifesting. This is coming in for me. And, you know, really um, understanding that you deserve every single bit of it. Don't apologize for what you, the success you are about to experience, right? Don't apologize for it. You worked hard for it. You deserve it. And it is about to be delivered. <laughs> all right, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I really do appreciate all of your support through liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.